Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Mars Hydro SP250 and the Pepper Plant pH test. So today we're just going to be talking about some of the things that have been going on and what I've been doing as far as keeping this experiment valid. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is what I've been doing to keep the pH at the desired levels. So all I've been doing to keep it fair is I would take a five gallon bucket, I would fill it up with three gallons of water, uh, add the solution, and then I would stir it up, and then I would pour it into a container, uh, a one gallon container, and then I would pH the solution that's in that container, and then I would pour it in each one of these respective containers for each time I would pH that gallon of water. So that's just to make sure that the nutrient solution is exactly the same for all of them, so there's no slight variations, uh, and I can easily control the pH when I just put it in that gallon container and shake it up um, and get it right where I want it to be. So for once a week, what I've been doing is actually changing out the solution that's in each one of these. And each one of these containers holds about a gallon of water, but you can't fill it up all the way to the full gallon uh, because obviously the water has to be below the net pots so the roots aren't completely submerged. This is the Kratky method. So um, that's what I've been doing to keep it fair. And you can see the plants have actually grown quite a bit since my last episode, and they're actually growing pretty quickly. I'm actually pretty surprised. But as far as how the rate at which they're growing, and the reason why I'm saying this is because they're already starting to flower. And if I get closer here, like on this one here, you can see they got little flower buds starting to form, and those are gonna be peppers already. And all of these plants right now are fairly close in size. The biggest one you see here in the center is actually uh, the one that has the pH of 5.5. The plant over here, this is the neutral pH, so 6.5, and the plant over on the right is the one that has the high pH of 7.5. Um, and it's kind of odd though, actually, because if you look at the neutral pH, well, not it's not really neutral, but without adding pH up or pH down to the solution, that's what I'm calling neutral. Uh, so the solution just as it is at 6.5. That's actually the same size as a plant over on the one, or in the container, that's the one at 7.5. So right here in the middle, you can see the lower pH is actually growing better. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say that it's growing quicker. I've been watching these. I wouldn't say it's been growing faster at all. It's just growing larger. And as far as the, uh, the growth stage that they're actually in, they're all about the same. Uh, you can see here, we've got we got the split on the top here, we got the main stem, and then we have the split for branching. Same thing with this one, and the same thing with that one over there. It's all doing the same thing. They're all about in the same stage. They're not really growing, this one's not really growing any faster, it's just growing larger. So I also actually just increased the voltage of the light, or I should say the wattage. I've actually increased it to about 170 watts now. And this light here does have very even light output across the whole tops. The only difference is in light output as far as intensity goes is right in the center. If you look right in the center of the light you see there's this gap here and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it actually, it's actually pretty good. It's so that you don't get a hot spot in the right in the middle and you can't have a perfect light. Not every single part of every single light is going to be perfectly even. It's just, it's just never going to happen. It's not the nature of how the light works. Uh, so in the middle here at this level and we're only about an inch to an inch and a half higher than these two other plants in the outside parts here. This one here, being slightly taller, is actually receiving about the same light measured with my quantum par meter as these two plants. Uh, so the reason why this is getting a little bit less is simply because it has this gap in the center. So I actually moved this plant, I rotated it to the center because it works out better here so that it's getting the same light as the, these two other plants. It wouldn't be a fair experiment if one of these plants was receiving more light than the other. So now let's take a look at the roots and see kind of how they're doing. So first we'll take a look at the one with the pH of 7.5. And you can see we have some nice air roots forming on there. That fuzz is not mold. That is, this is the cracky method. That is how it's supposed to look. And the roots, eh, I wouldn't say they're, they're sharp crystal white or anything. They, they look pretty normal though. They're kind of a, a yellowish white, I guess. And on top of the solution, there's a little bit of crustiness going on, and that's, that's pretty normal since it is a higher pH. That means there is minerals coming out of solution. So let's take a look at the one with the pH of 5.5. .5. 
And this one here, those roots look about the same. Uh, the roots maybe look maybe slightly more dense, but as far as the amount I'm seeing, it's very, very close. And there is hardly any crusties on the water on that one. I'm gonna take a look over here at the pH of 6.5. And this one here, uh, about the same. The roots are very similar to the others. Uh, this one seems to have maybe a little more air roots, but I'm not going to attribute that to pH at all. Uh, that's just how it's growing. And nothing in that water either. Again, we are slightly acidic. So I think that is about it for this episode. Um, I just thought it was interesting to talk about a couple things here and kind of show what's been going on. And like I said in the past videos, I'm not going to be doing videos every single week. I kind of want to grow things out, wait till things uh, advance and so there's something else to actually talk about and show. Because if I did it every week, it would really, there wouldn't be much to talk about. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.